Hi guys, it's Miss Faith. Today we're going to be continuing on with our sea creature theme by making this sea creature. This is a little puffer fish. As you can see, he sticks out from the paper. He's 3D, which is pretty cool. I also just got finished making the letters to send out to you guys this week, and those are pufferfish themed as well, so make sure you check your mailboxes for that. So to get started with this craft, all you need is some paper, some tape, and some markers, and also some scissors to cut your paper. So to start off with, we're going to make this part, which is the actual pufferfish. And to do that, I'm going to take whatever color paper I want to make the puffer fish, and I'm going to cut out a rectangle from it. So however long um, the rectangle is, is going to be how long my puffer fish is going to be. So I'm going to make mine about this long, and then I'm just going to cut a strip. And then I'm going to measure how big I want it to be. Because the, puff, the puffer fish is going to be um, like kind of like a roll. So I'm going to curl it up, see how big I want it to be. And I think that's pretty good. So that's where I'm going to cut the paper. Okay. So now, before I tape the piece of paper like this, I'm going to decorate my puffer fish. So as you can see with this guy, I made dots all over him. I made a little mouth and I also made some eyes. So first I'm going to, I think I'm going to make some blue dots all over this puffer fish. And then I'm also going to add some orange ones. Okay, now if there's one thing we know about puffer fish, it's that they like to puff up. So for the mouth on the puffer fish, I'm going to make a circle. So that he, it looks like he's big and puffed up. Next thing I'm going to do is make the eyes. You can either draw your eyes or you can cut them out. Um, I'm going to use this yellow paper and I'm going to cut two circles for the eyes since you can see I already did it for my other one. To do that I'm going to fold the paper in half so I can cut out two at the same time. Just draw a circle. And then cut it out. Right, those look good. Now I'm just going to make the pupil in here to make it look a bit more like an eye. Just like that. And now you can either tape or glue your eyes on. I'm just going to use some glue. Now all we have to do is roll the puffer fish up. So I'm going to roll so that the side that we decorated is on the outside. And then I'm just going to tape this side together. If you want, you can also glue it or um, 
staple it. But for this step, I find that it's easiest to just tape it together. And there we go. Now, next step is to make his um, little flippers on the side. So for that, I'm gonna take I'm gonna make his slippers to match his body, so I'm gonna use the green. But if you wanna use a different color, that is perfectly fine. And I'm gonna fold the paper again so that I can make two flippers at the same time. And I'm just gonna draw the shape of my flipper. Make it kinda big. Just gonna draw it like that and then cut it out. Whoops. The fan's on in here, so my puffer fish is blowing away. All right, now I have my two fins. And then I'm just going to make them look a bit more like fins by making some lines on them. And now I'm going to secure them onto the sides of my pufferfish. Now you can do this with tape or with glue, doesn't really matter. There we go. And now, as you can see with this puffer fish, he's attached to a little background. So to do that, I'm going to take a blue piece of paper because puffer fish live in the ocean and I'm going to attach him just like that onto the paper. I'm gonna put him at a bit of an angle so that it looks like he's swimming. And to do that, I'm just gonna take some tape. I'm gonna make a little tape donut like that. And stick two of these right on the back of him. and stick them right onto my page. Now we get to decorate the background so that it looks like he's in the ocean. To start out with, I'm going to make some bubbles coming up from him so that it looks like he's swimming. And I'm just gonna make a bunch of circles going up like that different size ones. And then I'm going to make some seaweed coming up from the bottom. Now you definitely do not have to draw all these things that I'm drawing. You can make whatever you want in your ocean. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the example so that you can see how I made that if you want to make it exactly like that. However, you definitely do not have to. So I made this seaweed by just making a curved line upward. And then I um, make almost a little C to go back down and then make another line. And then I'll just color it in. And I did that a few different times to make my seaweed. And then I made a few little fish right here. 
So to make the fish, I'll try to do it upside down so you guys can see. I'm going to make a little sideways triangle and then a circle attached to it. I'm going to make a few of these fish so we have a little school of them. I'm going to put an eye on each of them. And then I'm going to make some bubbles coming up from them as well, just like on the puffer, the puffer fish. And that is how I'm going to leave my puffer fish craft. You can definitely add whatever else you want to it. If you guys know how to draw sharks or whales or starfish or anything like that, um, I'd love to see what you guys add on to these. And I will be back next Sunday with another sea creature craft for you guys. Bye.